Hey guys, today we have exciting news about the online version of Magic. I'm not talking about Magic the Gathering Online, I'm talking about what is probably known as Magical Magic Digital Next. The CEO, Chris Cox, made an announcement. Uh, he sent a press release on the Wizard of the Coast website. They are cleaning house. The face of Magic the Gathering Online, who has been with the company for six over 16 years, has been let go. Uh, I, I believe he was fired. It is not a coincidence that on the exact day of this announcement, he is no longer part of Wizards of the Coast's team. Now, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but as someone who does development, as someone who does marketing, at the end of the day, if he had 16 years to produce a product, whatever the product was, no matter how difficult a product is, that is a long time to produce a product that hasn't lived up to its full potential. Magic the Gathering Online, or some version of it, could be a cast cow. Magic attendance is way down. I don't believe attendance will ever go up again because I've always said this, like I, if I get back from partying on a Friday night or from clubbing on a Saturday night, I will play Magic. But it's very difficult for me to say, okay, well, I'm gonna give up every Friday night so I can play Friday Night Magic at my stage of life. And I grew up with Magic. I grew up playing Beta. I grew up playing um, one of my favorite sets of all time was Invasion. Terrible set, but really fun. The dragons were amazing. I remember opening them when I was in middle school. Portal was a great set too uh, when I was in elementary school. So I've been playing Magic for a long time and I just am not buying anymore because the set honestly sucks. Like Kaladas didn't interest me. Shadows was an interest. Aldric Moon, I liked it. I don't know why. It was kind of like, um, I like the moon a lot. Like Tamiyo is my favorite planeswalker. So anyways, a lot of times when you look at change and you look at why things people have to get fired after a long time, I'm sure that he has a retirement package. He was paid probably not to talk about it, even if he really wanted to. If you read this and he's saying hashtag blame me again one last time, people use this hashtag when Magic the Gathering Online crashes or there's a bug or there's a fix or there's something that needs to be fixed. That's obviously not the culture you want for your company, right? You don't want the company employees who the public associates with failing to come up with their own hashtags all the time or to promote uh, hashtags indicating that they fail. So it is very sad he's leaving. Um, it is extremely sad, but there's a new development team. The new development team, you can pause and go back to the video, uh, the first slide. Activision, Bioware, yes, I know who those people are, Warner Brothers. Those are some pretty big names on their team. I'm excited to see what's next uh, in terms of if Magic the Gathering produces a online digital product that I can actually play as a graphic designer, I can't play Magic the Gathering online because I know there's so many things they can do to make it better and they just choose not to. They choose to make it very difficult to trade. They choose to make it very difficult to organize your cards, to storage your cards. Also, as a developer, there's some things that I know in the code they are not doing correctly that or can be easily done and they aren't doing it. And that drives me insane. Like, it's... They had 16 plus years of this guy managing this product. And he's the nicest guy ever. Such a nice guy. Really wanted to promote the product. Apparently, he drops by and gives free cards to everybody. Like, oh, just ask, mention his name. And he'll drop by and give you a free card. The product never got better. The product never got better. And when you talk about Hearthstone, you talk about League of Legends, you talk about Overwatch. Those are Magic the Gathering's competition because that's why people are not going to local game stores. If I go out for dinner and I have a nice dinner, or I'm in the Kemba boardwalk, I'm you know playing Pokemon Go, then I come back home, I can turn on Overwatch and play it. But I'm not going to my FNM because it's already done. Like, well, it's probably too late to go. I don't I want to do things on my own time. And as someone who spent a lot of money a lot of disposable income on Magic Gathering, they lost me. 
I didn't buy any Kaladas. Not like a single box, not a bundle, which they renamed from a fat pack. Nothing of Kaladas did I buy. I bought maybe a few singles for EDH, but I didn't even buy copters. I didn't buy any of their stuff in my deck because there was no reason. I wasn't playing FNM and I didn't want to play anymore. Like I wanted to play online, but the online version was so poor that I, I'm not going to give them money because it's offensive to me as a graphic designer and a developer. When I log in, it's offensive to me that how you trade cards, how you store cards, how you can see what cards you have. And even when you're playing, I mean, have, has it, have you guys logged on to Hearthstone lately? Like, or at all? Because it's night and day and just, there's no hope. Under the old management, there was no hope of getting be better. There was just, I, I hate to say it, there was no hope. And when there's no hope after 16 plus years, you clean house. And that's why I'm excited for Magic Digital Next. I feel like it will be an excellent product. And as soon as they make a good product, I will spend money on it. I will spend a lot of money on it. And you guys can see pack openings. I'll do gameplays. And hey, you know, not just me, but a lot of YouTube content makers will, and even new ones that don't exist right now, will have great channels with promoting Magic 24, like League of Legends. League of Legends doesn't need to do promotion. They have people who gladly promote them for free. Magic, it's so hard to do game match videos. Like It's near impossible to do on the level of Overwatch or League of Legends or Hearthstone. Brian Kibler left the face. He was the face of Magic. They gave him the tag. He still has a tag. The face of magic decides to leave for another game that should be enough that should be enough to for whoever the president was at the time to say hey we have an issue why would this person who we made famous who we promoted who we gave the keys to the kingdom throw those keys back at us it's because he cannot make he cannot twitch he cannot youtube it doesn't make sense. I can't Twitch. I can't YouTube. I don't want to. So many people don't want to. So many pros are pl playing Hearthstone. There's got to be some... If someone that you made famous, you gave everything you could give to Brian Kibler, and he says, no thanks, I'm good. I'm going to go with this other company here. You have issues with your online platform. Anyway, leave me a comment below. I'm sure this will be an interesting conversation. Um, bye guys.